Palito, Suho Chufoliet Chelsea Her, Chata Hoyosia, Oklahoma Michili. Hello, my name is Chelsea Her. I'm a citizen of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma and curator for Indigenous Art and Culture here at Gilcrease Museum. Today, we're going to look at a tempera painting by the Taos Pueblo artist Pop Chile titled Forest Scene. Chile's playful forest scene depicts a very intricate view of one of the artist's favorite subjects, the natural world. Four bright blue deer, a figure often associated with Chile, gracefully leap across a forest floor teeming with plant and animal life. The deer's legs extend out in long lines, creating the illusion of movement in an otherwise still scene. Small, nearly identical rabbits hop across the bottom of the painting, echoing the movement of the deer. Groups of smaller animals, including squirrels, porcupines, bear cubs, and skunks, gather beneath the branches of willow, cedar, and pine trees. The artist carefully placed tiny brush strokes for the sprigs on each tree branch, the bushy tails of the squirrels, and the individual quills of every porcupine. Chile achieved such precise line work with a paintbrush made of a single bristle of horsehair. Pop Chile, whose name in Tiwa, the language spoken at Taos Pueblo, means blue flower, was born Marina Lujan in 1906. She was the third child born to a Taos Pueblo father, Joseph, and a Swiss and East Indian mother, Myrtle. Chile spent much of her young life traveling between Taos and Salt Lake City, Utah, before enrolling as an adult in the studio at the Santa Fe Indian School in 1935. Under the guidance of Dorothy Dunn, an educator who taught many Pueblo painters in the early 20th century, Chile refined the studio style to reflect her own experiences. The studio style refers to a painting technique that uses flat, bold blocks of color with little to no detail in the background, and typically no shading or three-dimensional modeling on figures. While studying under Dunn, the artist described her own paintings as, quote, flat and simple, leaving things out that are not important, but making a beautiful picture, end quote. The artist's grandson, Jack Cruz Hopkins, said that Chile's woodlands imagery came from the time she spent as a child in the forest surrounding Taos Pueblo and to the stories she was told during her childhood. Her grandfather would regale Chile with tales about a mythical horse who flew over the Pueblo each night, ensuring the children were safe. This is where her familiar horse and deer figures originated as she visualized the oral narratives passed down from her grandfather. Chile also spent much of her free time in the densely wooded mountains of Taos, where she carefully studied the details of the plants, trees, animals, and landforms around her. Like Pop Chile, we can spend time in the natural spaces around us, appreciating the details we might miss in our day-to-day -day lives. How do you connect with the environment around you? How do you see the animals, plants, and other inhabitants that make up our larger environment? Thank you for spending time with me today. For more information about Pop Chile, Forest Scene, or other collections at Gilcrease Museum, please visit our collections online at gilcrease.org.